Pro Jared is this phenomenal. <laughs> Pro Jared is this phenomenal. I've never seen the likes of which a drama has has totally destroyed and burned a man alive. He was consumed by it's like wild dragon fire. fire. <laughs> yeah, it's frightening, quite frankly, how how quickly this man's whole life, as you see on the TV, his subs even now are just dipping into the abyss. He started over. He had one. Let me show you. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, but I want to show you for context if I just go pro Jared social blade um, I don't know even in, in all my time on YouTube um, wow. with Logan Paul with uh, uh, what, what, were, what were the other big ones like I mean With leafy and Logan Paul those are the kind of the two biggest backlashes I can think of in, mm -hmm. in modern YouTube history I have never seen a single lost day like this a hundred and three thousand lost in one day. I wonder if that's a record. I I think it is. I I'd, wonder too. I don't know. I don't know. What's well, remarkable is that, like, he has a million subscribers. That's that's ten percent of his entire fan base. I mean, look vanishing he, like a Thanos snap. Look at what he was getting daily before. Like, f to go from 50 to minus 100,000. Yeah. Just the difference. Yeah, I mean, 10%. And the thing is, like, a million is sm is kind of small by comparison to, like, Logan Paul and Leafy's. Yeah. So, they didn't have anywhere near that loss. So, the per capita loss of actually losing 10% is so staggering. And it's still going on, obviously, right now. I've never seen anything like it, and we may never see anything of the likes of which again. And there's just been so, so, uh, absolutely phenomenal um, memes. The story is incredible. The face is outrageous. The, everything about this is like a perfect storm. It's that Category 5 hurricane that just is that once-in-a-lifetime experience that just puts a whole city underwater. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just... Um, I never seen anything like it, so we're gonna dive into that. I've seen his cock too, as well today. I mean, <laughs> and yesterday. <laughs> Me too, um, by the way. <laughs> I've seen the uncensored one. Yeah, I've seen it all. I've been there. I've done that. I've seen it all. So. Not, not because I wanted to. <laughs> Actually, well, I guess I won't say, but somebody sent it to me, <laughs> like un. <laughs> because I was talking with somebody <laughs> at great length about the whole pro Jared thing, <laughs> and. Um, and I told him, oh, keep sending me the memes because they're hilarious. And then, <laughs> so I kind of did ask for it. Right. But then it just, his dick, <laughs> like unfiltered dick showed up. And I was like, we're in, boys. <laughs> yeah, watch it fall dip. I mean, we may witness the moment here where he goes below 900,000. Now imagine, oh. like, <laughs> imagine, so, it's. I, maybe I should just talk about this. I guess let's just We're already in this. it. Yeah. I'm going to talk about the whole Trisha thing after this because I'm already yeah. in it and I'm loving it. All right? Pro Jared. Now, so, oh my god. You should explain what happened. I guess I should explain what happened. I just can't get out of the mindset of like, so he announced on Twitter that him and his wife were getting a divorce. Uh-huh. And he knew that some drama was going to ensue because their divorce was not exactly amicable. And he knew that. Now, obviously, he wouldn't anticipate the, what would unfold when his now ex-wife uh, accused him of cheating behind her back with their colleague for many years. Who was also formerly married to one, one of, of his, his colleagues and friends. They're all part of the same group of friends. Yeah, it's like, it's incredible. Do you, there's this phenomenon, oh my god, he, he gained a subscriber. <laughs> Somebody just wa found Pro Jared. <laughs> and he was totally oblivious to anything going on. He's like, I like this Pro Jared guy. <laughs> mm. His one subscriber. Where was I? You ever notice this phenomenon like in a group of friends? It's like everybody just ends up like having sex with each other because there's like no other options Like if you have like let's say this happened in college, but I think with every click let's say there's like ten people Five dudes five girls, you know that everyone's gonna fuck each other like eventually <laughs> It just happens like where everyone's like man. I'm dating her now. And it's mm -hmm. like oh dude I get it. It's cool, man. <laughs> you, and then it's like, you. It, it, everyone ha ends up having sex, and but so this is one of those cases, I think. Mm -hmm. Except that we're married and adults, and we're not in college, so I don't know how good of an analogy it is. Just a phenomenon I noticed. 
as a psychologist, a sociologist. <laughs> just in your studies? Yes, in my studies. Uh, <laughs> he just gained another subscriber. I find that more fascinating at this point <laughs> than anything. <laughs> I loved his analysis on Mega Man 93. <laughs> we were just watching <coughs> Pro Jared's Let's Play. I gotta pull this up. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm meandering, but this is just, I gotta enjoy this because this doesn't come around every, every day. Pro Jared Let's Play. What's it called, Dan? Pro Jared Plays. Mm. Don't you find his name kind of funny? Like, even if you actually think about what it is, it's Pro and then his <laughs> name Jared. Like, he's a pro gamer. Pro Ethan. Like, imagine that's my. Oh, that's what? Yeah. <laughs> like, back in the day, you used to be like, I'm pro. Mm hmm. He's pro Jared because he's so dope. <laughs> but anyway, he posted a let's play one day ago, and I was just watching him hey, do me, pro Jared. playing Welcome back to Mega Man Mega Legends, Legends so, 12. Camera, this was him yesterday the, uh, before his whole segments. world came crashing uh, down. It. It's like got, Last uh, Images. Uh, There's a Hoover? subreddit called Last Images of like uh, people with loved ones before they passed on. Ancient some other, some other, some, just and he some just stuff. he just doesn't know. Just some stuff. I was gonna take it to roll to see Here, let me zoom. He just doesn't know. <clears throat> Here he is, like just playing Mega Man. Him, but you know, who cares? Just take it in for a moment. <laughs> yeah. Nope. That's, <laughs> okay. That was his penis coming out. <laughs> so that probably means I need other other stuff yeah. from it. Okay. Well, can I go to uh, anyway? Um. God, I really taken a long time to get to the point. But imagine he walks away from his computer. Like, I've been through the meat grinder. I've been through drama. And usually what I'll do is I'll be like, man, I'm really upset. This is too much for me to handle. I'm just going to walk away from social media for a couple of days and let this blow over. So imagine when he walks away, he's got a million 30,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah. And he comes back. <laughs> Suddenly he just comes back. He's like, oh, check my social blade, see what's the damage, you know, a couple thousand, you know. Comes back. And he sees <clears throat> 100,000 loss in a day. This was trending on Twitter for, it's like at the top. People so, are fascinated by it's it. It's almost like two full days now, right? That's this morning. Happening? Yes. <laughs> then, like, nobody talks about Jared, but somehow everybody's obsessed with this scandal. It's at Twitter trending the top of the news. There's, and, okay, let me just tell you what happened, for Christ's sake. Okay. The, there's just so many layers to the story. Yeah. So here's the three at the center of this love triangle. So this is Jared in the middle. This is like uh, Game of Thrones if... <laughs> I'll let you finish the sentence. Uh, Jared, his ex-wife... On the left. Yeah, on the left. And on the right is the... Uh, his true love. The mistress. The mistress, thank you, Elon. Very well said. Is that correct? Yes, <laughs> yes, I think so. Absolutely. Now, Jared... Now, what fascinates me, too, is like... This is the guy at the center... Of this. <laughs> By the way, this is the picture he chooses to <laughs> put on all of his videos. I mean, I've seen pictures of him that aren't this bad, but I find it fascinating that this, is, of all of them, is the one he chooses to present to the world. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Yeah, I, I don't know what to say, really, without being too hard. Stud. Yeah. Alpha I'd, male right there. Yeah. That guy takes probably 20 alpha males' brains a day. So anyway... Um, so why is this so epic? Why do so many people care about this? Why has this been trending for days? Nobody's experienced anything like this before. So here's my theory on why, first of all, this is blowing up so big. First of all, he's goofy looking. <laughs> that makes it all the better. Because mm -hmm. you see a picture of this guy and you're like, oh man, he's been sending nudes to underage girls, cheating on his wife, I'm in. For his di there's dick pics involved. There's pictures of his dick all around the internet. Mm -hmm. Instantly juicy. I'm involved. Also, when the wife um, tweeted about the saying that he cheated on her yeah. for a few months. Go ahead, Ela. <laughs> <laughs> she, she also showed that he blocked her. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Love it. 
Yeah. No, that's a mature couple. See, see, I don't know how to appropriately tell the story, so if we're everywhere, <laughs> just bear with me. It's going to be everywhere. It's tough. But this this is a picture that's on the <laughs> internet. That's him as well. So I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't get better. Um, infidelity, underage sexting. Um, and then it, the story's been unfolding live, so it's just... It's absolutely phenomenal. So let me open the summary, and I'm going to tell you guys exactly what happened now. So Pro Jared, uh, first of all, announced that him and his wife were going to file for a divorce. This is the very first thing that happened. He says, a statement. Very dramatic. Uh, very dramatic. He says, my wife Heidi and I have filed for... See, I don't know anything about Jared or his wife or really anything about any of these people, but I lo- I'm so in. I know. I've never watched his videos. But I do know somewhat the girl that he cheated with That's a- true. and who she was married to. And I knew that they were all part of the same group, yeah. which is why it's so, it's like soap opera. Gossip. Yeah. Hello. Basically, this is Game of Thrones if you remove, like, all the graphics and the fighting and the... I'm going I'm to read the statement. <laughs> My wife Heidi and I have filed for divorce. I know this may come as a surprise and upsetting for many of you, but know that we do this so that we may both seek happiness for ourselves. During this time, you may see see a lot of rumors, speculation, and gossip going around. I ask that you make your own observation and come to your own conclusion. I guess everybody did do that. I I love how he preempts it with, like, he's like, my life. He's like, (laughs) oof. Lord only knows. I will add to this decision was reached after extensive individual therapy on my part and couples therapy together. With that said, this is all all I plan on stating publicly regarding this matter. Heidi's privacy, mental well-being, and discretion has always been and will remain my highest priority through all of this. It is my hope that we can both exit this marriage with style and grace. That sentence stuck out to me. Style. Grace, I understand, but <laughs> style. He's like, I'm coming out of this marriage with style, baby. I don't know about the style. Wait till you see the pictures you've been sending underage <laughs> girls. You want to talk about style. I hope that we can ed- exit this marriage with style. Anyone want to see my dick? <laughs> and Grace. I plan on continuing to do everything I can on my part to make this happen. Thank you for your understanding, patience, kindness, and respect for our privacy. And his dick picture's out. <laughs> well, actually, well, so the one that opened the lid on this one was actually his w- ex-wife. Heidi. Who's divorcing. Yeah, exactly. So, <clears throat> um, this is only the the beginning of the juice of, of what is in this. So, what follows from that statement is that his now ex-wife Heidi, so actually, no, so, so now this is the girl who left, a, she was left a top comment on his explanation about getting divorced, she said, I'm so sorry you're going through this. I'm here for you if you need me. This is Ooh. from Holly Conrad, who, <clears throat> un- who is a unknown player until his ex-wife tweeted. Not, not unknown, though. Because their followers know. I mean, they didn't know that. Was, see, that's the girl he's cheating with. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew that at the time. Can you believe yeah. the balls of her? <laughs> That you're getting, you're the cause for, like, the divorce, and then you're leaving comments like that? Um, so, yes. Now, here we go. Here's the tweet from, from the wife, she says. This is her response. I've recently learned that my husband, Pro Jared, has been fucking Holly Conrad, that's the girl who said she feels so bad for him, behind my back for months. I have no idea what announcement he just made because he blocked me. Bro, how epic is that? What what, what happened to style oh and grace? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope that you can respect my my privacy. Well, I'm exiting this marriage with style and grace. Bitch, you're blocked. <laughs> my ex-wife. So fantastic. You could just mute her, you know, like, goddamn. She's an idiot. What's his last name? <clears throat> Neighbor Nobber. Nabin Bauer. Oh. He's been knobbing his neighbor, all right. Knobbing Bobber. <coughs> so we got Jared Knobber Bobber over here. Knobbing his neighbor, as Dan put it. Um, so the two girls were friends. Yes. And Holly is now divorced, but she was married to Ross. Who's a mutual friend. Who's a mutual friend of him, too. 
Yes. I just can't get over that whole... The dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I can't get over the fact that Jared is so seductive that he's, like, breaking up marriages. <laughs> I mean, that should really give hope to all you freaking, like, incels out there. Like, Jared has, <clears throat> Jared has single-handedly smashed the incel movement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how <laughs> dare you think that you're unfuckable? <laughs> when Jared is out there breaking up marriages. Mm -hmm. Stop hitting yourself, loser. It's you. Jared's smashing like crazy. <laughs> How, you know what I'm saying? Like, you cannot... I'm, I'm sorry, but... If Gollum can fuck, then so can you. And I'm... I mean, like, imagine Gollum's on Tinder getting fucking... Di you know? Anyway. <sighs> um, so... <coughs> as more information is learned... The, uh, so, uh, it is clear that Heidi is telling the truth. People started turning on her. But it turns out she's been telling the truth, and this has been going on for months, since October. Then it comes out that Pro Jared has been soliciting not-safe-for-work pictures from fans, and has sent a few of his own. Worse still, these were sent while he was married. Heidi was, however, fully aware that he was sexting with yeah. fans for a few years. That? Which, to me, is a huge oh, question weird. mark. Huge question mark. That's that's strange. Um, but but now, since this drama's um, spread, his sexting images that were being sent out to all these girls are mm -hmm. now sharing them on social media mm -hmm. like wildfire. Obviously, I'm not going to show you any, any dick pics or lewd photos, but they're out there. And trust me, they are lewd. Um, I don't think... Uh, yeah. To add a final piece of garbage, it turns out that many of the fans he was attempting to solicit photos from, and he sent to, were underage. Mm -hmm. And and so, I don't know how uh, corroborated that is, but I guess it's an ongoing investigation. But the I've seen some credible evidence, and it wouldn't surprise me at this point. I mean, the guy's sending his dick to everyone who yeah. with eyes. I mean, apparently they're saying that he even had, like, a nudes Tumblr, mm -hmm. or I don't even know what. Yeah, he had several not-safe-for-work Tumblrs that he used to reach out to fans. How does that happen? Well, the guy's obviously, you know, he has some kind of sex issue. The thing issue. for me is that I know the kind of audience that watches videos like his, and they gotta be, like, at least... 90% underage. I mean, the. I think you're right. Yeah. The age demographic that watches this video. Yeah, I think you're right. The girls who have come out and said that they were 16 at the time. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, let's. So, that's, that's the story. Um, this is when she started getting brutal. His ex wife was just going f f ham on him. And this here, let's see here. Honestly, Holly, you look very ashamed and insecure in all the nudes you sent my husband. I think it would help your chronic self-esteem issues if you started fucking men that weren't already married. Damn. <laughs> Times like this where I lo it's just, it's so nice to just sit back and be like, ah, I'm not in this <laughs> one. That is fucking brutal. The Schadenfreundin? <laughs> is that, how do, did I say that right? Uh, yeah, I didn't write something like that. Yeah, Dan, let tell me when we're at a break time because I'm not. I'm it's not. Uh, I got ten more break. minutes. Okay, it's just remarkable because I've been through YouTube drama. It's the worst. It is it's the worst. just the worst. And this is so beyond anything that any of us have ever imagined possible. That I'm just like pro Jared. More like sad Jared's <laughs> life is over. <laughs> 